Um, so on this problem, what we need to do is, again, we need to go and find the rule for this problem. All right. Now, again, what I like to do is list the terms in our sequence. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I notice we don't have an alternating sign like our homework was, so I don't have to worry about the negative one raised to the n. The next thing I simply just need to do, Chris, is write in my subscript notation, and I notice it's the fraction. So rather than trying to make fractions this crazy problem, I'm just going to write a fraction bar, and I'm going to treat the numerator and the denominator separately. All right? So remember, n represents the number in the sequence. So when I put the number in the sequence, how do I get to the number, uh, my value in the sequence? So to go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, Aaron, what do you think my rule may be? N plus 1. Now, we move on to the denominator. All right? I'll get to you. Let me just walk my, let me just walk my way through it. So a lot of students have trouble with um, finding the rules, especially when it's not as simple as this, right? That's about as, this is probably about as easy as I can give you. Um, so the next thing is when, I, when I'm trying to figure these out, there's only so many possibilities that we're going to go from this class. You look for addition and subtraction first. To go from 1 to 1, I have to add 0, right? Well, obviously, adding 0 to go to 3, from 2 to 3, is not going to work, right? So adding and subtracting is out. Next thing is I look for multiplication and division. To go from 1 to 1, I'd have to multiply by 1. To go from 2 to 3, I'd have to multiply. If I multiply by 1, I'm not going to get 3 going to 2. Does that make sense? The next thing is I look at a combination of the two. All right? Um, so let's say, what about if I multiply 1 by 2 and then subtract 1? Well, that works. What if I 2 times 2 minus 1? Well, that works. 2 times 3 minus 1? Well, that works. So it's really just you know, a process of elimination, working from the basic operations to the more advanced. So the formula for the denominator is 2n minus 1. Multiply by 2, subtract 1. Multiply by 2, add 1. Multiply by 2, subtract 3. Multiply by 2, add 3. Just, you know, you just keep on working through these, and the more practice you work through, the easier these are going to become. All right? And that's how you work on that one. Ooh.